Hello everyone, welcome to a brand new disc golf video, and yes, you read the title right. I played in my first disc golf tournament this past Saturday and actually took home the win. I played at Union University in Jackson, Tennessee. It was not a sanctioned event, but it was like a family weekend at the college. And so they hosted a disc golf tournament, I played in it, and I won in this video. I'm going to share with you guys basically how I won the tournament, the format, um, my different shots that I threw, some of my clutch moments. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So first of all, uh, it was hosted uh, at Union University, um, and uh, basically they had some discs for sale, and I'm gonna touch on that first. So right here I have a, uh, looks like Gazebo at the Hollow uh, tournament in 2020, potentially would have gotten canceled because of COVID. Uh, but this is a Fusion Burst Slammer uh, from Dynamic Discs, and they actually do not even make this disc, disc anymore, uh, 176 grams. If I had to compare it to something, it would be definitely an overstable approach disc, similar to a Zone or a Harp or something like that, um, or a Pig from Innova. Uh, but yeah, I got one of these, definitely discounted for sure. And then since I won the tournament, I got to pick a disc of my choice, and so I went with the VIP shield from Westside Discs uh, as kind of a remembrance of me winning the tournament. I'm not going to throw this and then I'm not going to throw it. This is kind of my backup for the harp in case I lose that. Um, but yeah, I got the shield for winning the tournament VIP um, for 100% free. And basically the tournament was uh, a wolf format. And if you don't know what that is, as a disc golf game. Basically, you have four players. Player uh, Each player gets a number, one, two, three, and four. Player one tees off on hole one, two tees off on hole two. Player three tees off on hole three. Player four tees off on hole four. Player one on five, and it keeps on cycling that, like that. So I think you get around four times that you're the wolf if you tee off first. And so basically, the wolf will throw his shot, and then he'll watch the other player's shots. So let's say we're on hole one. Uh, player one, the wolf, throws. And then he watches player two shot, it's not good. He watches player three shot, it is good. He calls wolf, he and player three will be doubles partners, and then player four and player two will be doubles partners. And they battle out to see who gets the better score in the hole. If they tie, nothing happens. If one team wins, they get a point. If the other team wins, they get a point, and you play 18 holes like that. So basically, my strategy going in was I'm gonna play solo wolf every single time I get the chance, which, which basically means you would tee off first since you're the wolf, and then you would throw your shot, and then you wouldn't call wolf on any of your opponent's shots, and it would be you versus all three other players' best disc triples. Um, and I, I thought I was better than everyone, and I felt like I was. I mean, I'm not trying to be you know, arrogant or anything, but I, I definitely was better than all the other players, so I knew that was gonna be my opportunity to get points and win. And so um, the first kind of move we had um, was me and my partner um, who chose me as his partner on hole two. Uh, we got a par, the other team bogeyed. But um, I really think the big turning point was um, whenever I uh, whenever I went solo on hole 12. Um, so basically at this point, um, I go solo on hole 12, I believe I'm winning. Um, and I, I birdie, I get a two on the hole, everyone else gets par. And then um, that was kind of the statement right there. And up to that point, um, I had all already done that on hole eight as well. Um, hole eight was a par four, um, 385 to 400 feet. And basically what happened was, uh, it was tight cap off the tee and I threw a roller and it kind of curled right up, and I had a 20-foot putt for eagle. There was a big tree in my way. I couldn't even see the basket. Laid up, tap in three, easy birdie. The rest of the, the, uh, the players um, ended up uh, parring that hole. Um, but it did it did come close at the end, but I had, I had worked it out in my mind that um, the last five or six holes, I was up by enough points to where even if I parred all the rest of the holes, that the guy chasing me in second still would have no shot at beating me so I ended up winning by one stroke I had five points second place had four points but it really wasn't close in the end I had a lot of birdie opportunities to where uh, my team would have gotten a point so I probably should have won by three to five strokes if I had to guess um, but I won by one uh, got the win um, and also big thank you to the I guess the tournament director Ben Bordeaux 
I believe that's how you pronounce his last name, um, but he's an ambassador for Dynamic Discs. He was able to uh, provide the discs, set up the tournament, overall run a great event, uh, very beginner family friendly. Um, but yeah, that was my first win. Uh, felt really good uh, to play in a tournament style format. I had one shot at it, that was it. And the majority of the time, it was even my bad shot would be the best shot out of the double. So we had to take that. So definitely some pressure putts. I made a clutch putt on hole 15 to save par. We were definitely struggling on that hole uh, clutch putt to save par. And, you know, that ended up kind of propelling me to the win. So overall, I was really happy with it. Um, and yeah, I'm looking forward to it next weekend or this weekend, I guess, uh, when I, I'll, my video coming out on Saturday of this week will be when I am playing another tournament, a random doubles tournament at Jack Maddox. Hopefully you guys watched my practice around there, uh, but I'll be playing in that this Saturday, but I will have a video out for you guys on that Saturday. And hopefully, uh, if we do well, I'll do another kind of tournament recap of that. Um, but yeah, I wanted to give you guys a brief tournament recap. I was super excited about picking up my first win. Obviously, as I said earlier, it wasn't sanctioned or anything, which, you know, is a little disappointing. You know, if it was sanctioned, then, you know, I'd actually have that kind of on my profile, but it really wasn't any big tournament by any means. It was definitely a local tournament for fun. Uh, but yeah, I ended up winning. So it's honestly really nice to have like a win under my belt. Hopefully uh, this will kind of spark more competitive disc golf in the future. Hopefully I get some more wins. Uh, but yeah, I just want to update you guys on that. If you enjoy these videos, if you want me to play more tournaments, if you guys are playing any tournaments, let me know. Um, but yeah, that was it for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.